Aloha, beautiful family. Bliss here to do a little love stream check-in about a new online retreat that we are starting tomorrow and to talk about the energies of today. So everyone is probably experiencing a lot of transformation inside and maybe people are wondering what is going on. Well, we have a lot of great calendars on the planet, like this one, the um, 13 moon calendar of synchronicity, which was brought through by a beautiful man named Jose Arguelles and his beloved Lloyd Dean. And we are at a very special miracle coordinate, so to speak, in that calendar. We have today is the completion of a 260 day cycle in this calendar. So if you think about the um, physical nature of the reality that we are physically connected to, we are inside a lot of different cosmic clocks. So it's like a grandfather clock with all those different wheels spinning around inside of it. And when those cogs in the wheels come back to their, um, to touch cogs that they've touched before, there's all these different cycles going on. There's all these different things going on. Today is a special day, even though time isn't real and doesn't exist. And we like to play with time and time languaging and the unity transmission is very cosmic and its purpose is to take us beyond time in totality. So if you think that's cool and you wanna go beyond time, hang out with me because this transmission will blow the circuits of your time mind guaranteed. So um, the one of the cycles of the 13 moon calendar is a 260 day cycle. The 260 day cycle is considered the gestation cycle of a baby inside of the mother's womb. This cycle started on the 1st of September and what is so cool that it is completing today and that we are moving into something called the Pleiadian alignment, which is supercharged for downloads of energy of love. The indigenous are super connected to the constellation called the Pleiades. It is a constellation in the stars that is known to hold a frequency of love. And right now, our cosmic consciousness is being moved through the Pleiadian alignment, which happens twice a year, the middle of May, the middle of November. And we just so happen to do a dispatcho, which is a purification ceremony with the indigenous uh, Kiro shamans from Peru, Yester Miracle Day, and have been offering two days of one-on-one -on -one ceremonies with the Kiros. While well, there's still a few times available tomorrow for one-on-one -on -one sessions, anyone interested to do one-on-one -on -one sessions with the Kiro. So um, all of these things are aligning in perfection. Why? Because once someone understands the cycles in time and how our cosmic alignments connect us with cycles, we start to learn how to catch the waves when they come in. The Gregorian calendar does not is not related to cosmic cycles in time. Indigenous calendars, ancient calendars are calendars that keep us connected to cosmic cycles so that we know how to get on the wave in time. We use this analogy all the time. We say that if you're a surfer and you don't know how to get on the wave, you never get to ride the wave. If you're a cosmic being and you don't know that a wave is even coming, never mind how to get on the wave, then we're gonna miss the waves. So we bliss this transmission, unity transmission is super passionate at helping people know when the cosmic waves are coming in and also how to get on the cosmic wave. So the transmission that I bring brings through principles that help us come into coherence and push all the nonsense and all of the distractions and all that kind of stuff away so that we can get on these waves together and become the cosmic creators who are meant to be. So a lot of people wonder why they have 
um, you know, done all the right things, thought positive mantras and all those kinds of things. And still, why are they only manifesting at a limited scale of manifestation? It is because the unconscious energies that continues to suppress someone's resonant field to align with zero point. And that's one of the things that transmission does. The core cosmic principles of creation, number one, coherence is key. Coherence aligns us with zero point. And without coherence, we may manifest somewhat in our life, be somewhat the creators of our life, but we may be lacking the stability in that creation. And that's because coherence is a way of life. It's not like something to be once in a while. So we're going to talk about this in the online retreat that starts tomorrow. The online retreat is called Seven. What is so cool about this retreat called Seven is that I offered this retreat called Seven at the end of August of 2021 over a seven day period. And it was a seven day window that gave us a capacity at the end of August last year to align with seven generations within our bloodlines and to clear out those seven generations. It's like all these grandfather clock cycles were recycling at that portal. It was a massive portal to bring everything into alignment inside of ourselves. And some people might even think back to the end of August last year and go like, oh my gosh, that's why I was going through so much stuff because it was a portal to clear ancestral lineages, to clear all the programs, everything out of all the bloodlines. As we do that, as cosmic beings, when we clear not just ourselves, but our ancestral lineages, we get like the bonus points. We, we get, we take massive leaps in the cosmic holographic game. And so, the seven retreat that we offered last year at the end of August completed on the 1st of September. The purpose of last year's retreat was to bring people through that process of clearing so that by the 1st of September, they could be at this completely coherent zero point place to create. And in that, September 1st is when this 260 day cycle that is ending today started. So that seven retreat was the preparation foundation for this 260 day cycle that we just went through that has taken us cosmically beyond where most of us thought we could go. Yes, we've had to go deep. We've had to do a lot of clearing and simultaneously Look how shiny everyone is getting. Look how transformed everyone is being. So this online retreat that starts tomorrow aligns with the Pleiadian alignment, which is all about love. It's the energy of love that opens our heart. Our heart is the largest magnetic resonating um, field of our body. And so why would we want to open our heart? Because our heart gives us vast access to the cosmic field for creation. This is the technology, Flight Lessons 101, and the technology of our human body. So when we bring all these pieces together to understand how it all works, and the transmission brings us into a clear place of alignment, with our field of thought, our capacity to bring everything together in such a way that it is synthesized and easeful to become the artists of our life. That aligns perfectly with Kin 1 that starts Tomorrow Miracle on the 19th of March of May. And Kin 1 is the beginning of the next 260 day cycle. So just imagine if the Western world understood these cycles the way we celebrate New Year's and the way that we celebrate Christmas and all those kinds of things and people set New Year's resolutions and so on. But the 260 day cycle is the perfect 
incubation cycle for seeds that are planted and birthed. As we say, 260 day cycle is what is considered the cycle of gestation of a baby in a mother's womb. So if we learned this in school, wouldn't the first day be the most important day to be in prayer, to be in meditation, to be creating, to be focusing on what it is that we want to birth consciously, just like conscious conception of bringing conscious children into a conscious world. Our projects, our art, the beauty of our lives is all about conscious conception. And so this retreat is seven days, seven cosmic transmissions to really launch us into our leadership roles on the planet, to um, support the artistic nature of our life, to live life as art in totality, and to bring beauty, to live the beauty way, to bring beauty back to our lives and our world. And it just so happens that this next cycle in the 13 moon calendar is all about beauty and art. So there's so many alignments of synchronicity because as we say, the last time we did the seven retreat, the final gathering and meditation was on the 1st of September and the 1st of September 260 day cycle completes today. So when we just kind of know about these things and we know how to align with them, a lot of synchronicity happens in our life and synchronicity is what makes life easeful. Synchronicity is where the miracles are. Synchronicity is where the flow is. And it is the natural way that a cosmic being exists in the world and not of it. So I'm super excited. I invite you to join me. All the information is in the description box below. And the funny thing about the link for um, the, the flyer that I made for this retreat is it is the name came through as um, the mentorship program that I was guided to start on the 29th of May. And when I did this flyer, it ended up being under the link of the mentorship program that starts on the 29th. And I was like, okay, well, the universe is then saying people are, are being drawn to this online retreat are probably people who are interested in mentorship of their leadership roles, their heart-centered leadership roles on the planet because in the Gene Keys, it says the leaders that will show the way, that will be successful and super abundant on the planet must lead from their heart. And so this is all part of the retreat that is coming through. I invite you to join me tomorrow starting at 2.22. From 2.22 to 3.33, we just finished five days, 55 people, that retreat, I don't know, I keep getting emails from people saying that was profound, it changed my life, it was so simple, thank you so much, I love you so much, uh, what you're doing on the planet Bliss is profound, I'm so glad I found you. That five day retreat just completed, this is now called Seven, I invite you to join me, we invite we to join we. Let's have fun, let's create, and let's blast off. You will notice that the collage that I made for this retreat has a Pleiadian ship merged with a lot of golden adamantine sparkles. And this to we as an oracle really feels like the 260 day cycle to bring on the miraculous, call in the star nations, open the veils for contact, really take it through the roof, so to speak. So if you're one of those people sitting in one of those little desk cubicles who has pulled away from everything and done your clearing and is wondering what is the next step, this retreat is the next step. It is calling forth global leaders 
that lead from their heart, that live from their heart, that understand the value of coherence, and are looking for a group dynamic to supercharge the next steps forth in our collaborative way of living life as art. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be miraculous and beautiful and perfect in every way. And that is what this retreat is all about. So if you're intrigued, click the link down below for more information. There's lots of information in the description box. We love we, I love you. And I'm super curious again to see who's gonna show up because for the seven or the five day retreat, it was just new and wonderful, beautiful people that were showing up with the pod that has been with we in the transmissions. And it's bringing in new dynamics of leadership and creativity and we got to keep going. One final thing to say is um, as I was scooting about at sunset on my scooter, which I love to do because it's so fun with my lights turned on on my scooter. Um, yeah, it's so fun. Um, the guidance was coming in and reminding me that um, one of our elders, Jose Federico, who is the carrier of the um, calendar of the sixth sun, had mentioned in January that the new cycle was um, basically his translation of the new cycle about the tiger or the lion is that we are in a cycle where he described it as eat or be eaten. Actually, it's kind of funny because we got the lion in the background here. Eat or be eaten. And what I translated that to was create or be created. Meaning, if we don't create our own creations, someone or something else called the collective creates for us. We are sovereign creators. That's why the last online retreat from Hive Mind to Sovereign was to help people come into that sovereign alignment out of the Hive Mind Collective Consciousness energetic. There's still recordings available for that retreat. If you want more information, make a comment down below. And um, actually, I'm going to put the link from Hive Mind to Sovereign in the description box as well if you're interested in recordings from that link. Create or be created. This is a time of self-empowered leadership. It is what we have all worked so hard for. And so it is the miracle coordinate to actually create, which requires certain steps in our life. It requires a certain level of discipline it requires knowing some cosmic practices and it is what we came for. It's what we worked so hard to achieve and it's here now. So this retreat will help us to understand through the articulation of the transmission principles of creation so that we can play with them. Just like if we get into an airplane and our instructor says, okay, that's called a lever and that's called a dial and that's called a this and that's called a that. Same with this transmission. It articulates in such a way that we go, oh, this makes perfect sense. And now I can figure out how to do this and how to sustain this in my life. So I'm curious who's gonna show up I'm Joy Filled. See you tomorrow at 2.22. Links, login links are sent out 15 miracle minutes prior to the start of the first transmission. Let's dive into seven and let's go miraculous with our creation. Let's stop playing small. Let's co-create and co collaborate together in a group dynamic, a pod dynamic the miraculous, it's the miracle, and we are, we are conscious participants. We are conscious participants in this game. So we have to participate with inspired action. No more sitting around trying to figure out how to do it. Get inspired and join us in 
this retreat. We love Lee. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. And if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called Gifting Bliss Art. Beloved Celestial Ecstasy Sparkles just wrote Bliss Art. When, when I go into retreats, I'm always playing with my own creation while simultaneously playing with everyone else. And right now for me, it is the launching of my art. I've been having a lot of prints made, getting them framed, super stoked for the effects of this art on human consciousness. So that's what I will be playing with as well as calling in the Pleiadian Star Nations contact, calling our celestial families to come fully into the form to be with us now and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So it's the go button if you're looking for a pod to hang out with that is super cosmic and not mainstream at all and your circuits are either blown or ready to be blown <laughs> this is the retreat to join in we love we so much Mwah. aloha